Hi guys and welcome back. This is Mike Grimmith at MH Tutorials and today I want to show you guys how you can model a spiral staircase in Maya. Alright, let's get started. So we're going to start off by creating a center column for the staircase. So we're going to create a, in our polygons menu a polygon cylinder and we're just going to drag that out in the grid. Drag that up and maybe make it a little bit thinner. So scale that down and scale that up and then we're just going to make sure that's uh, level on the grid like so. Alright, so we got that. Alright, now we're going to create the first step and we're going to do that by creating a polygon cube. And I'm just going to drag that out, something like that. 55 for shaded mode and you know maybe just uh, give some little detail on it for fun right click on it select face go to edit mesh extrude hit R scale it in a little bit something like that go to edit mesh again extrude hit W Pull that down, something like so. Actually, I'm going to pull that up, something like that. Okay, that's just your preference. Okay, now I'm going to right click, go to Edge, select that one, that one, and that one. And I'm just going to pull that in. Okay. So our first step looks something like this. Okay. Now we're going to go to our top view and we're going to position that. Nope. Sorry about that. Control Z. Just going to right click on that. Object mode. We're going to select that and we're going to bring the first step roughly in position. Something like that. And we're going to scale the whole thing down. Or actually, I'll scale the column up a little bit. That's easier. Stretch that out a little bit. And I'm just going to pull that one out a little bit. Okay. Now, what's really important right now is that you need to move the central pivot point of the first step. And that has to go into the center of the center column. So we're going to hit the insert key. And we're going to move that over, and we're going to move that up, and I'm just going to hit F to zoom in a little bit. And this is pretty critical, so let's make sure that we're good on that. Yeah, it's fairly accurate. Okay, alrighty. So we got the first step there. Okay. I need to move that center pole up again. Just so we're okay with that. Okay. So this is where we're at. We got the uh, the center column and we got the first step. And we got the central pivot point of the first step in the center of the column. That's really important. Okay. Now, we need to figure out how far up the step will go when it starts to rotate. And so I'm going to hit Control D while I have my uh, step selected. I'm going to pull that up. And let's say that would be roughly the height that I'm looking for. Now, I'm going to check that by selecting my uh, uh, cube tab in the attribute editor. And I'm going to look at the value right here. Now let's say I want to do 1.75, okay, 1.75, okay, so if I think that's the appropriate height, I need to remember 1.75, okay, I'm going to get rid of that one. Okay, so now we're going to select the bottom step, we're going to go to edit, we're going to go to duplicate special, and we're going to click on the option box, okay. Now, I want to, I'll just uh, reset this, okay, 
I want the uh, the translate to be 1.75 per step. Typically, there are 13 steps in a staircase, uh, so I need an additional 11 copies next to the one I already have. And I want to have a rotate value. Now, let's say my first step is starting here, and my final step is starting uh, ending in this direction here. So we're covering a total of 90 degrees, right? So I want to have... Um, 90 degrees divided by, actually this should be 12. So I got 90 degrees, I got 13 steps in total. So that's uh, 6.92 degrees per step. So I'm gonna go 6.92. I got my translation for the vertical uh, coverage I got 6.92 for the rotation, and I got 12 for the number of copies. Okay, so let's hit duplicate special and see if I did everything correctly. Okay, now as you can see, it is covering the angle that we were looking for. Now, let's say I want to do the same, but I want it to wrap around and end here, right? Okay, so we're going to Go back, Control Z, make sure we got that step selected. Go back to Edit, and then uh, Duplicate Special at the Option box. Now, in this case, my translation height is still the same. It's 1.75, and I need to change the rotation value because I want the other step to end here instead of the way it was over here. So that's 180 degrees. So we're going to take 180 degrees. We're going to divide that by 13 steps, which is 13.84. So we're going to change this to 13.84, and we're going to hit Duplicate Special. And as you can see, the steps are wrapping around much better. All right? So that is an easy way to create a spiral staircase. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this quick tutorial. If you got any questions, let me know. And uh, likes and subscriptions are really appreciated. Thank you.